Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fatal One. It's time. How do you open the door or unlock the door? Well, I think the plan is that once I cast a knock spell, uh, the bear moves through first, and that triggers our ready action to dash through. Okay, so you and cast the knock, the bear goes through, and then the horse and everything else follow. Yes. Uh, the, the horse goes first, I guess, because right. the, the bear is slower, so. Okay, so we'll just move you all like that. Um, and let's roll initiative. Uh, I think we can see some stuff on yeah, the I left cannot side. see anything. Uh, I need vision on my bear or something. No, that's fine. The the numbers you're talking about? Yes. Yes. That is just to make it, like, uh, missile range is a little bit easier to understand. Uh, that's the okay. feet from the, the door itself. Okay. Um, cool. I will try and give you vision of the bear. I thought you would have had it already, actually. Let's make some adjustments. Um, okay. Yeah, you should, you should see bear vision. Do you not see the bear's vision? I don't see anything, I just see yeah. my beast again. Hmm. What's going on? Here. Ah, he doesn't have sight, that's why. There you go, now you should be able to see. Thank you. Can you actually move us further because we have 100 feet of movement? So. Yeah, they would have dashed 100 feet away, um, you know, by jumping and stuff. Right, and, okay. And meet 40 feet. So, so you would have been back here, and let me just measure out a hundred feet of movement for you guys. Uh, the bear is only forty, though. But, okay. yeah. And the bear was here, and would have gotten forty feet of movement. Uh, which would be into a pit, so I think the bear is going to chill right about here, unless you really want to walk into uh, uh, no, a certain that, death. That, no, that's fine. Okay, so let's do some initiative rolls for everything. Hmm. We just we just have to roll really well, guys, and we win it easy. <laughs> um, can you give me light, please? Because it's kind of gone for me on my character. I don't see uh, anything. Sure. Give me just a moment to finish rolling initiative for no monsters. Problem. Happy to set you up. Okay, I think that's everybody. Let's go find your token. You should have sight. Do you have light cast on yourself? Yes. Okay. There you go. That looks better. Uh, okay, so initiative order. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I forgot that there are more creatures that spawn. Seems That seems a little sketchy, claiming suddenly that there's more monsters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... On initiative 22, who the hell are you? God, how am I ever gonna find all of these guys? All right, this guy is gonna take a shot from 
115 feet. Is that, I think goblin short range is 80 feet. Um, yes, that is a shot at disadvantage, and it is going to shoot at the horse. I don't know if it that if it can hit the horse even, but it's going to try and shoot the horse with a 14 to hit. Uh, disadvantage, I thought. Yes, an eight to hit. Nope. Okay, but it does. It can be hit, right? Yes. Okay, cool, Leo. So that's that guy. The next archer goes. It's the one on this podium over here, and is also going to try and target down the horse. Uh, no disadvantage. Twenty-one. Okay. Are they all going to shoot the horse? Just I don't know. We'll find out. I'm kind of just playing this by ear. I don't have a grand plan. Uh, three points of damage. Okay. The goblin back over here. Uh, you guys are within 60. Yeah, let's attack the... You guys are the ones that are getting the farthest through. You are the greatest threat to their liege. So let's just continue with the horse attacks. That seemed to be working well. 22 is a hit for seven. Still alive. Uh, okay. Regular goblin is going to protect his king, and a, another goblin spawns. Um, crawling up in front of your path uh, onto the ledge and taking a swipe at the rider. Who's the front rider? I am. Gaston. All right. 16 against you, Gaston. That's a miss. Um, Gaston, uh, don't you have I, any... uh, will use my reaction because it came into my threatening range to make an attack. Sure. I will attack with a 15. That'll hit for six slashing damage. Ooh, it is alive. Okay. Uh, let's see, the Regal Goblin does nothing. On round 19, we spawn another Goblin Warrior who crawls up the side of the, the bridge, blocking your path. Um, this guy should be on turn 19. This guy should be on turn 21. Lovely. Uh, so that's that guy, that guy, that guy, guy. Uh, he spawns on your path and slashes at the leader again with an eight is a miss. This goblin, who's this guy? Ah, he's way down by the bear. Uh, the swordsman will come over here and swipe at the bear. Uh, 22. Yes, that's it. Or eight points of damage. Oh, promote that goblin, please. Damn. Yeah. Promote, promote that guy. Um, then we're going to have another goblin archer uh, over here shooting at the bear. <laughs> it looks like that path is blocked, so let's deal with the, the backup here. 13? Uh, I'm not sure. No, yeah, yeah, it's eight. Nice. For three yeah. points. Um. Uh, oof. Goblin Archer way over by the Regal Goblin is going to make a long shot at the horse. Uh, 14? No. Oh, I don't know the road. No, the horses. Yeah, sure. All right. For seven. You guys are beautiful. And the horse disappears. Excellent. The horse vanishes. You guys occupy a square or something like that. Um, the next archer will step up and shoot the bear with an eight, and it is Baldwin, Baldwin's turn, Baldoon's turn. I'm gonna firebolt the one to the right. Okay. Oh. My temp HP disappeared. That's a miss. Uh, all right. And <coughs> Goblin Archer. Ooh, I actually forgot to spawn a guy, but that's okay. I'll just have him not spawn. 
Uh, goblin Archer, way back near the Regal Goblin, will take a shot at disadvantage at Balden. Uh, no, uh, who, who's in front? Gaston. Gaston. That's um, a miss. Ten is a miss. Minotaur will chill. Goblin Archer, right adjacent to you guys, will fire at uh, Balden with a miss. Gaston, it is your turn. All right, Gaston will make a uh, packed weapon attack against the goblin to the right. For 16 for eight slashing damage. Come on, goblin. Roll HP, he survives. I will make a second attack, a 25 to finish him off. He no longer survives. And with my bonus action, I will um, make another attack since I killed a creature against the goblin to my left. The 25, which will take it out. Yes. And all the while, I'll refresh my temporary HP because that's fun. Nice. Um, I will stay, I'll step to the left, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, Goblin Archer standing behind Balden will take a shot at her for an eight. No. And it is. I, I killed the goblin to the left in front of me, right? Oh, yes. I just forgot to delete him. Okay. Um, and the cave bear goes. Um. <laughs> I will walk a little bit behind, a little bit behind, 10 feet. Then I will walk 10 feet and do a long jump. All right. The... So that's 20 feet and then, sorry. A goblin will get an attack of opportunity as you leave a threatening sure. reach with this as a miss. You have sufficient strength as a bear to jump that distance, no problem. Yes. And then, so I did 20 feet and then uh, 5, 10. 20 again, so that's 40. So I have still my dash action, which I will do. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Wonderful. That goblin crawls on up. Uh, oops, that's not the right roll. And is going to, well, there's a bear there now. So he'll scimitar at the bear and eight is a miss. The archer near the regal goblin, disadvantage shot on front person, on um, Gaston as a miss. And archer very near to you guys will shoot at the bear for a 23 for six. Um, the next goblin goes, where is he? You're there, you're fine. Uh, and a lava burst may or may not happen. Um, off on the far top left of the map, uh, way over here by the 200 foot marker, there is a, a lava burst. Oh, I see. Yeah. Let's see, Archer back here. No, wait, there's a, another goblin that spawns. It's gonna be... You guys who spawns over here. Six, come on, buddy. And you'll close with the bear and make a scimitar attack for 16 to hit and six for damage. Yeah, again. This okay. guy uh, can't do anything, so I'm just gonna take him out of the initiative order because he can't reach anything. Uh, and then an archer is going to fire at the bear for a 20 to hit for four piercing damage. And another archer will spawn on the bridge. <clears throat> at initiative three and take a shot at the bear again for an eight to hit is a miss. Okay. Next round, 267, because I forgot to increment it on the thingy already. Oh. All right, let me pre-spawn the monsters this time so it's a little bit less messy. 
on, buddy. Do it, goblins. I believe in you. I'm so sorry this is taking so long. I thought putting this on its own page would get there rid of the lag, and it's it's not getting rid of the lag. No issue. Sure. We're, we're using a uh, strategy uh, while we're doing that, so that's good. <laughs> Neil's just buying time so he can think about how to kill us. <laughs> well, when you're just spawning lots of little goblins, there's, there's not a lot of strategy involved. It's just kind of mob your enemies and and hope to whittle. Hopefully that refresh will fix it. Uh, we are still riding the horse, right? No, no the, the horse, horse is gone. No. The horse died. Yeah, but Neil, um, when the horse die, he's still, he's still actually still there for a minute. Uh, no. 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 Yeah, but it was killed, so then it isn't. But oh yeah, because it's, 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 it's wounded. If it's wounded, it's still a minute there, so. For, for chat, the, the horse that we summoned, if it takes damage, fades uh, one minute after it takes damage. But if its entire HP pool is depleted, it just evaporates, which is what happened, unfortunately. Ooh, all right, there we go. So we'll start off the round with a goblin archer spawning on the bridge. Jesus. Yep. And it'll take a shot at the bear for a seven, which is no good. <laughs> And there are a lot of goblins here. We got another goblin archer way on the far back, taking a shot at disadvantage against Gaston. An eight. Nope. We've got a goblin archer taking a non-disadvantage shot at Gaston with a 13. Nope. Swordsman does nothing. Archer is going to shoot Feldwin with a 20. I think that's within range. Yeah, that's within range. 20 to hit. Four piercing. <laughs> Regal Goblin goes, does nothing. Um, new spawn crawls up on top of this ledge. Do you get an attack of opportunity as it comes into reach? I do. Um, let me grab that. I will attack it with 16 to hit. That'll hit. Nice. For 17 damage. Good. That Bye. will remove it before it can even do anything. Sweet. Uh, An archer yeah. is going to take another shot at Beldwin. A uh, 21 to hit for four. A, an archer is going to spawn over here and take a shot at Gaston. 13. Jesus. Uh, where is the next one? Archer at disadvantage against Gaston for a crit uh, oh. for 12 points of damage. Okay. Uh, seven and then five from my main health pool. And then a shot at the bear for an eight is a miss and Baldwin's turn. Baldwin's turn. It's my turn, great. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a running jump. 10, 20. Oh wait, no, no, no. I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna cast invisibility. Because I'm tired of this shenanigans, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna take my running jump. Okay, uh, you have at least twelve strength, right? Yes. All right. I, I, I do. Exactly I should note strength. that your invisibility seems to have no effect on you in this room. Mm. So it, I'm still visible. You are still visible. You you cast invisibility Great. and find yourself not Great. turning invisible. I'm exactly moving here. Okay. Uh, in the middle of the squares. Wonderful. Spawning next is a goblin who crawls up on a ledge nearby you and will scimitar at you for a 20 to hit for three points of damage. An archer... That was against uh, the, me? The, the bear? Uh, no, against oh. um, Baldoon, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, an archer, Beldun is now forward most, will take a shot at you for a 19 to hit 
Yeah. Three and Gaston's turn. Okay, Gaston will take a running jump to here. All right. Um, he will um, hmm, step up to this goblin here and make a uh, attack with his packed weapon. A 17 for 23 damage. I assume that kills it. Yes. Uh, so with the guy on the left? Yes, the left. So I'll take seven temporary hit points. Um, that was a grand total of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet of movement. So I've only got five left. So I'll step to the right and make an attack against the goblin archer with a 16 to hit mm -hmm. for hit. 17 damage. Kill. Um, and that is unfortunately the end of my attack. Uh, options and my movement. All right. The Minotaur goes, and it is going to charge and gore at Baldoon with a gore attack of a 15. Hits. Oh. Even with mage armor? Damn. Yeah, it's 15 exactly. Uh, it does 11 plus an extra 2d8, uh, plus 12, so 23. Three and you were pushed back ten feet and knocked prone. But oh, I am. God, uh, uh, I'm in there the way. someone though. behind me. It's a bit hard, bit hard to push me back. Yeah. So I guess you just fall prone where you are. Okay. Um. I don't really have a good prone, so this is prone for now. Uh, Goblin Archer is gonna take a shot at Gaston. Uh, Twenty-three. That'll hit For three points of damage. Other goblin archer will shoot Gaston with the miss, and it's the cave bear's turn. Yes. Um, quick question, Neil. Um, my spell conjure animal says I can conjure whenever, wherever I see it. So technically, I could uh, summon like literally wherever I see it, right? You don't mind? Uh, I mean as long as it abides by the rules of the spell, but you can't okay. cast while in bear form. Yeah, that, that's all. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I was just making sure to know my option. Um, I, I, will think, actually... I think 60 feet range, right? Yeah. 60 feet range. I think it's more than 60 feet, right? Because it says... No. It's 60, the spell. It says range, 60 feet. Oh, yes. OK, yeah, there is a range on it. Right, OK, sorry. Um, never mind. I will uh, just uh, swipe at the um, goblin in front of me. Go for it. 21 will hit. Uh, and it will outright kill the goblin. Well, then I'm going to do, since I'm on multi attack, I will do the bite against the one behind me. Okay. Oh, uh, wait, I, did I did, did claw a bite? No, you... I did bite already, so I have to make claw. Uh, 17 yeah. will hit. And you will actually kill that goblin. Nice. Uh, can I make that jump? Mm. <laughs> can I stand there? Uh, well, you're measuring from the wrong spot. So you can get to here. You'll oh, be yeah, half yeah. on, but that's that's enough. No. You're, was that squeezing? Uh, there's, there's a little bit of... Uh... There's a little. That's like, a, that's like two and a half squares. You'll, you could squeeze into that spot. I don't know, actually. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe well, not. You're a big wait, creature. Tell, tell, me before, tell me before I make the jump and I... Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I don't do it then. Uh, I will just stand 10 feet away from the from the, the spot here. Uh, okay. I don't need to, actually. It's 10, 10 feet. No, I will go as near as possible. Like, you know, in the between, like, the nearest mm -hmm. here. Were, sure. were we able to gauge about how, how far the gap is? 12 feet. Ah, okay. Oh, this jump is what? much smaller than the last yeah, one. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. It is. Uh, this jump is like six or seven feet. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm on the edge. That's it. End of my turn. Perfect. All right. Next archer is at the front of the party um, and is going to take a shot at Gaston. Ooh, but is Gaston in short range or at 90 feet, which I think is... It, isn't there short range 80? Yep, so it'll move 10 feet closer and then short bow you uh, uh, with a crit. Okay. For 11 points of damage. Okay. 
and the goblin nearby is going to uh, turn and shoot Gaston as well for 20 to hit for three. Okay. And this guy is going to go here. The lava will erupt on square eight, which is uh, the cave bear square. What? There is a explosion of lava. Ooh, how much damage is that? Right here. You need to give me a con save. Uh, yeah, I have plus than I have a uh, plus uh, three on it, so it's not the right number. I will make it sure. for you. It's um, uh, eleven then. Ooh, oh. that is a failure. So there's a lava burst, and you get scorched by the heat from the nearby lava for eight points of damage. Um, and that is when. Oops, that's not the right button. This guy spawns, crawls up, and takes a shot at uh, Gaston with a 22 for seven. Okay. So many goblin archers. This guy will move forward. Uh, bear is in short range, and so we will shoot the bear. For a six is a miss. The Goblin Archer at the bottom of the bridge will shoot the bear for a 14, for seven. The other Goblin at the bottom of the bridge will shoot the bear for a nine is a miss. And we go to round 268. Whew. All right, let's get the new spawning Goblin initiatives. the top of the initiative order, a goblin will crawl out onto a section of stone uh, and take a shot at Gaston with a short bow for a 13. Miss. Okay. There are a lot of goblins here. A uh, goblin at the back of the bridge will shoot the bear and miss. Goblin on the post to the top left of the party We'll shoot at Gaston and 17? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right, five points of damage. Um, goblin near the Regal Goblin will take a shot at Gaston. Actually, I have to move forward 10 feet before it can hit you. And then short bow you for 15. Miss. Uh, this guy will back up. The Goblin Archer. Ten. Can I interrupt you real quick, uh, Neil, if you don't Please. mind? Um, yeah, so basically I have vision on the Regal Goblin, but I didn't know it was real vision. Now I see there is light. So um, you never explain how the, the Regal Goblin looks like. You didn't say, like, because we have a token, but you don't really know. What, what, what armor is he wearing? Like, what's his size? Is like other the gob like the other Goblin? Is he small? Is, like, can we have that is a great question to ask. The Regal Goblin is wearing a set of amazing immaculate plate armor <laughs> that glistens in the sunlight that reflects from behind it, wearing the most beautiful shield you've ever seen <laughs> and carrying a viciously sharp short sword. Hmm, and does that armor look metallic to me? Oh yeah, it's metallic. And what about his size? Is he small or is he like a huge goblin? And very no, no, no he's, he's a regular sized goblin. Totally regular sized. Thank um, you. Yeah. Oh, you can. You know, you can go on if you want, but that's. Uh, you can good. see that the the plate armor has had to be shaped specially around its bulging muscles, though. This is probably the world's strongest goblin. Uh, okay. 
Next archer is way back over here. I think the bear is the only thing in short range for it. So it will shoot the bear with a 21, uh, 23 to hit for seven points of damage. The regal goblin steps forward, flexing his muscles. A another archer summons. I guess you can't see him flex his muscles because of his armor. Um, this guy will summon over here, spawn over here, and Shorpo Gaston, which is a miss. Uh, another archer on the wall is going to shoot at Gaston. 22, 4, 5. Oops, I missed one. Uh, archer at the near the Regal Goblin will shoot at Gaston for a 15. No. Uh, Archer at the far back will shoot at the bear for a 15 for five points of damage. Which, which Archer? Uh, far, far spawn of the, the room. Oh, okay. Way back where. And it's within range? Uh... Oh, well, I guess at 15 hits anyway. Yeah. yeah. 80 feet okay. is exactly in range and 15 hits out of the way. Cool. The next Archer will spawn over here and take a shot at Gaston for a 23. Yep. For three points of damage. And finally, Baldoon, you are prone. Baldoon. Yeah, I'm prone. It's your turn. I know. Okay. Still debating. What makes sense? Nothing makes um, sense. I'm gonna cast Heat Metal on the Mind Tower. I guess he's wearing one of his fancy metal armors, right? Uh, no, Minotaurs have natural armor only. Natural armor only? Yes. The Monstrous Manual tells me. Well, I'm gonna move up here. I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave just on him. See, <laughs> we've seen this before. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move here. I think that's a better direction to take. Yeah, yeah. All so, right. Minotaur needs to make what sort of saving throw? Uh, a DC 14 constitution. He can make it. He's good at it, but maybe he fails. Boom. Yeah. Uh, uh, so half damage. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Any other actions? Husband! I want the divorce! Just sign the papers! Jesus Christ, shoot her! She's back! I built this dungeon to keep her out! Get her, boys! And uh, a shot at you for a 19 to hit for three points yes. of damage. Yes. Uh, and Gaston, it's your turn. Oh my god. Christ. Um, all right, I'm going to let's see. How do I do this? I'm going to have to. Um, what's its attack? Sorry, just doing some quick math. Nappy math. All right, I'm going to move. Um, five, ten. And I'll take a attack of opportunity to move here. If the Minotaur wants to make that attack. Uh, I believe the Minotaur decides to make that attack today. Okay. Uh, 16 to hit. That is a miss. All right, so then. I will be casting two Eldritch Blasts. Are they moving Eldritch Blasts? They have Repelling Blast, so with oh, each hit, I will be knocking the Minotaur 10 feet this way. Bye-bye. Um, so First 10 feet, he's barely hanging on, and after that, <laughs> well, there's just no hope, and he falls into the bottomless void. Um, I will take temporary hit points for that. You didn't kill him. You put him in a position to be killed by natural causes. 
Uh, well, um, he, he asked okay. the question, how much do fiends actually split hairs about how you killed something? When you reduce a hostile creature to zero hit points, can we <laughs> put an asterisk with my actions? No, no. <laughs> Oh, my fiend sucks. Um, okay. Yeah, take another pack, man. Okay, how about this? On your turn, uh, when you reduce a creature to zero hit points. You did not reduce a creature to zero hit points. I, I mean, maybe you did. Roll some damage, actually. I, I don't think you'll do it, but... No, definitely not. <laughs> well, then, uh, no. Okay, um, I will finish my turn by uh, moving my additional 15 feet to close with this go goblin archer. Okay. Uh, next up on the initiative order is a spawning goblin well over oops, over here uh, who will then Jesus Christ uh, he'll go right here between the two of you but can't take any actions uh, there will be an archer who, hearing the order to shoot the wife, will turn and fire upon the the wife. 15 to hit. Hits. Five points of damage. Yep. Um, another archer. Is he within short range of the wife? I believe he is. Oh, yeah. He, too, will try to do this without lawyers with a seven. Nope. And it is the cave bear's turn. Wait, uh, I didn't stand up. Uh... Did you I? didn't stand up to Thunderwave? You didn't stand up to move around the, the Minotaur? I moved 15 feet, right? No. I, I guess we didn't declare that you didn't stand, that you did stand. Well, I've I don't know I that. didn't stand, so I will <laughs> take that right now. <laughs> All right, you can go ahead and take that 5 HP back. Fighting for dear life. Just crawling on the ground towards the <laughs> thunder waving and just I'm coming, don't, don't, coming. don't forget she also shouted at her husband while on the ground <laughs> um, can I make uh, my turn? yeah it's your turn cave bear I, I will uh, just do the jump I can do the jump no problem I will go 40 feet on that square exactly if that's possible do you go for it um, so it will be that square exactly. It's important when I will unshape, if you don't mind. And you unshape because here? I will unshape here, yeah, and become a druid on the square I said, if that's possible. Uh, yes. So let's just remove your bear. Yeah, and on my disguise again. Okay, perfect, here. thank you. And then I will cast uh, other bird friends. Uh, uh, so I will do a conjure animal. What are you conjuring? Uh, some giant eagle, uh, two, two of them, if that's possible. Giant tigers? Giant eagles, eagles uh. sorry. Uh, and uh, it's important that I will cast them 60 feet in front of me, but I want them to be uh, like in the sky, you know, like I want them to be uh, like 50 feet up the sky, is, if that's possible, because I, I, as long as I have them in vision, it should be good. That's, I can code the spell for you if you want. Um, so I really want to summon them in the air. Sure, they can be flying. 60 feet uh, in front of me in the air, like 40 feet above the ground. No, not 40 feet, like they only need, uh, they only need like 20 feet above the ground or something to not be reached by uh, attack of opportunity or something. Sure, that's fine. All right, you've got two, e and you said 60 feet in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Let's bring them there. Come on. There we go. And why don't you roll me initiative for your eagles? Yes. Um, I don't have them on my, um, you need to give them to the beast if you don't oh, mind. I will just roll it for you for simplicity's sake. They go on 17. Get in there, oh. Bao. All right. Any other actions for you? That, that should be everything, right? Uh, I have an action, a bonus action, but I cannot use it, so that's it, yeah. Sorry. All right, Goblin Archer uh, sees the giant eagles, but understands its mission is to remove Bal from the game. Uh, and so we'll shortbow at the prone woman. 
or a seven. Unbelievable. No. I used to nurture them, to love them. No more. Short bow at Bal again for another miss. A, a goblin warrior climbs up onto the wall, onto the, the, the platform. What? Dear God. And comes after Bal with a scimitar. Uh, 13 <laughs> with advantage is a miss. The, where's this goblin warrior? Nope, you're staying back there. A lava burst goes off. Why don't you guys roll me a d12? Um, uh, Bal. Lee. Bal. L- Bal, anyone, yeah. So first person to roll a d12. <laughs> no one <laughs> wants to roll it. All right. <laughs> Uh, one d12. Oh no, this is there. You go. Hey, the, the, twelve no, no, is no no, no, no lava burst. You're fine. No, no, oh, no, that was a twenty, I, but it's still within the twelve range, so no lava burst whatsoever. Uh, next is a goblin archer who's already up here. Uh, this one's gonna go after the beast actually, with an eleven to hit. Nope. Um, this is a goblin archer way back near the spawn, making attacks at disadvantage against the beast. A 10. Nope. This one is back near the spawn against the beast with a 19 yes. for four and constitu- con- concentration saving throw. Yes, um, let me do it. I have advantage on it, like usual. Um, hopefully the game doesn't fall. Fine. Yes. And then this one, you are within range, will take a shot at you as well. Or a uh, 24 to hit. Ooh. Or nine points of damage, Constitution's concentration saving throw. Yes, do not promote that goblin. Um... Good goblin, done well. <laughs> nice. 20. Right. And last but not least, one more goblin spawns and will come to this beautiful spot right here in Scimitar Bow for a 23 to hit for seven points of damage. Uh, and we go to round 269. All right. I just need to see how many new goblins will spawn this round. My god. <laughs> this is crazy. <clears throat> Perfect. Oops. The wrong creature. So, starting at round 26, we have this goblin archer here right next to the beast, who will shoot the beast for an eight, which is no good. Um, And at 24 initiative, there's an archer way back here. We'll go 30 feet forward and shoot at the beast as well for a six. Um, this archer is to the left of Bal and is going to shoot Gaston for an yes. eight. This one is at the, the top near the Regal Goblin and will shoot at Gaston for a 14. Yes. Uh, we have a goblin who spawns on an edge over here. Oh my Jesus. And we'll move the 20 feet towards Gaston and scimitar you with a 20 to hit for three. Okay. And there's an archer way back at the bridge who's gonna have to shoot at the beast at disadvantage. 
with an 11. Uh, um, these guys close ranks. Regal Goblin steps forward and says, Get her already! And an archer will follow his command and shoot at the prone ex-wife, which is a nine, and the giant eagles go. Ooh, the we giant... Are... Sorry. We're the not giant... divorced yet. And it doesn't include when death do us part. <laughs> <laughs> Married for all eternity. Um, the, eagle, the eagles that are very smart, they have like something like eight intelligence and understand command. I will, I will uh, shot at them in, um, in command, actually. I will shot at them. You know your mission. Assassinate that fucker, please. And then uh, that's <laughs> about it. Uh, they will, uh, well, by assassinate, they know what they need to do. They will just uh, go on the floor. Not on the floor, but they will reach them because they were, uh, you know, in the sky, 20 feet above. And uh, the first eagle will try to grapple him. If that's something you don't mind, obviously. I mean, it's, it's an eagle, but I don't have the eagle sheet, so you have to give it to me. Should... They are large creatures, and goblins are small creatures, so I feel like they could probably pick them up. Go they ahead could and totally pick them up, yeah. No opposed problem. grapple checks. Uh, or it's your, yeah. your athletics versus his athletics, or... Um, Acrobatics. Yeah. Up to you. All right, so what? he'll make a 25 on his oh. check. Can I, have, can I have the sheet, please? Oh, yes. It's a uh, plus three. Yeah, I can make manually, I guess. Uh, we'll do that. D20 plus three. There you go. Then the so second one will do the same. Uh, go Goblin gets a 22. Uh, come on. No. <sighs> Doesn't even matter. Uh, after that, they will... Um, do they have flyby? One second. I don't have the sheet on me. Oh, I was just looking at it. Oh, what the hell? This is wrong. Nope. Something his, wrong? Yeah, his stats aren't rolling properly. His athletics check didn't roll. That's oh, fine. Rolled strength. Oh, that's why it didn't work, because he rolled strength. Okay. Cool. Um, well, they will take an attack of, out of opportunity because. Um, do they? Yeah, they do. Uh, they will fly a little bit above the sky if that's fine for sure. you. So the Regal Goblin will get his attack of opportunity yes. against that's the it. left turn eagle with a short sword slash of 22 to hit and 13 points of damage. Plus 7. Uh, how much? Uh, oh, already you. Already and they, they work a little bit above the sky just to avoid any attacks from the melee uh, if that's fine. And that's it. Okay. Next up is an archer who sees what's happening with the eagles and is going to ignore the orders to shoot at Bao and, and, uh, and extend and, uh, and exchange shooting the eagles. So this is at disadvantage. A thirteen is uh, a hit. Thirteen is the number. Yeah. Is a hit. Six. The next goblin archer is going to try and take down an eagle as well. Same guy. Fourteen to hit. Or four, this is all on the left turn. Um, and Archer is spawning over here and taking a shot at an eagle. For 19 is a hit for three. Um, this Archer is right next to Gaston, so it's going to back away, uh, provoking an opportunity attack probably. How far is it backing up? Which, oh, which, super which, far, 30 which, feet. Oh, oh, that okay, that one. Yeah, I'm gonna be attacking that goblin for sure. Ten uh, slash damage. Uh, yeah, it's still alive. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. And shoots at an eagle for 13. These goblins are so good for six points of damage, killing one eagle. The next archer, the action economy of these archers is just absurd. We'll shoot at an really? eagle <laughs> from far range, disadvantage, 16th We didn't notice hit. that. I mean, we, we play every 30 minutes for for five seconds, so no, it's fine. Balden, it's your turn. Oh, boy. <laughs> 
Darling. Darling. Darling! Hold person on the Regal um, Goblin. It's a, it's a... Oh. <laughs> 60 feet away. The, the familiar Darling begins to chill the Regal Goblin's blood. It just begins to shiver and shake. It's a wisdom save. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Uh oh. But you know what? He is so over your tricks. He is just not having it anymore. You can't. You you have no power here. A goblin archer is going to try and take down the seagull from almost point blank range. 18's a hit for five. A goblin melee is going to scimitar at Baldwin on the ground for a critical hit for five points of damage. And it's Gaston's turn. Uh, we, we, uh wait, what was that? I got hit for five, right? Yeah. Oh, oh I'm in one. Nice. Go for it, Gaston. Um, let's see. Gaston is going to make an attack against the goblin to the north of Baldwin. Um, there. So probably a miss. Uh, yes. And another miss. Oh my god. And the pommel attack. Miss. And he will, uh, uh drop prone. Mm, yes, <laughs> he'll drop prone. Uh, he'll kneel, yeah, kneel down. All right. Uh, Goblin Archer on a pedestal is going to shoot at Beast. <laughs> yeah, kneel down. Uh, for eight points of damage. That's what you uh, get. On me? Yes, that's what you yeah. get for trying to make puns out of my name. Another Archer will try and shoot <laughs> Beast again for 22 to hit and five points of damage. It's your turn, Beast. Uh, five points of damage on me again? Yeah, so it was eight and five. Uh, yeah, I need to make two constitution concentration. You have advantage though, don't you? <laughs> yeah, advantage okay. and uh, Fine. yeah, the plus but the bonus are there. Uh, and then five damage I didn't take. One second. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't have many things left. I'm going to um, move there. Um. How does a shove attack work? Can I can I shove someone from? Well, I guess I have to try. Can I shove someone from here, in the lava? Try it. No. No. Oh, that's not how it works. Uh, you okay. can shove. You can't shove. Like you can shove in direct lines. Yeah. Um, so but no. I think a shove attack allows you to push someone up to fifteen feet, up to ten feet. How far I think it's push? five. I think it's just five. Five. Oh well then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then it will uh, be something else. I guess I will. Um... I don't have many things to do. I will just uh, pause on the uh, day and heal you. I, I heard a rumor. If you kiss the regal goblin, he dies too. <laughs> Go um, for it. Try it. I, I will uh, poison spray the goblin in front of me. And then I will healing word my wife. Or soon to be uh, wife. Passes the poison save. And your oh, wife so gains body. HP. Yeah, I will do that. Um, Plus, I think it's only plus two, I'm sorry. It's healing world, so... It's five, five hit points. I mean, so like... Can take that? Uh, and then... I will move. No, I cannot. Oh, that's it. End okay. of myself. A goblin archer crawls up and shoots at the beast for seven. Um, another goblin archer... Where are you, buddy? Ah, uh, right over here is going to shoot at an eagle. For a 23 to hit for six points of damage. A... Another goblin archer is going to shoot at the eagle for 10 is a miss, I believe. Um, this guy just south of Ball is going to scimitar her while she's prone. Ugh, 19 is a hit for six points of damage. I'm down. Yes. I'm at zero. All right. The next goblin guy is going to chill. A goblin will spawn over here and can move 25 to Gaston and attack him from melee at advantage. A 12 is not going to work. And 
Someone roll me a d12 for the lava blast. Should I do it or someone is sure, the anyone? Yeah. Seven uh, erupts in this square. Ooh, we, uh, that's the wrong. Erupts over here. I think that's going to hit the owl and a goblin. Uh, both of you. So please make me con saving throws. The goblin will pass his. Um, you'll pass yours and neither of you will take any damage from the intense heat. Uh, uh, does my costume uh, get attacked by the acid or something? Or the lava? No, it's like lava's blowing up near you and it's just very hot. So you're not actually getting oh, hit with lava. You're just, you know, uncomfortably warm temperatures. Uh, this goblin will cruise to here and scimitar Gaston, which is a miss. Archer's going after the bird for five. Archer is going after the bird with a miss. I cannot make the damage on the bird, so you have to do it because sure. I don't have uh, access to it. Uh, goblin over here spawns and takes a shot at the bird. Miss. It's only nine archer attacks until the bird's turn. I mean, that's not a problem. Short bow with a bird for an eight is a miss. Maybe we can get super lucky on Short bow with the bird for E. I think that's at long range though, so that's a miss. And our melee goblin um, I think this is our stone spear moment, you know, from yesterday. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, I think this guy is, he's going to drive a scimitar into bald on the ground uh, for 17, oh, provoking two death saving throws, or failed death saving throws, and we go to the next round. Okay. Oh, it's finally winding down, guys. <clears throat> I hope you have some insights for the next group on how they can prepare for this room. We have more information at least, but a uh, lot more information. Okay. We're not done yet though. We, we might. No, no, no. I mean, you're not done, but. <laughs> it's, it's, we still have a chance. Don't give up, guys. It's. I think I, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I we really can, can see the light. <laughs> it's very close, like one roll away. <laughs> okay. Sort in descending order. Starting at the top of the initiative, at initiative 26 is a goblin archer who will take a shot at one of those flying eagle-y thingies. Uh, 14 to hit for three points of damage. Um, okay. And can next I use up, my, yes? sorry Neil, can I use my six, six second to talk and say something in goblin? Sure, what do you say goblin? I, I want to say in Goblin, Goblin, and I will shut it so they can all hear it. Um, you were, you're, you're not actually Goblin. We all know that Goblin are from Cobalt, and uh, Cobalt is a super race uh, as a mean to taunt them and maybe uh, grab their attention. That's it. Well, uh, one guy spawns and seems very unhappy with this, but he can't move to you, so he's just going to come to Gala, to Gaston, who's prone voluntarily, and slash him for 21 to hit. Uh, for eight points of damage. And another archer is going to shoot the bird for 16 and eight damage on the bird. And this is the end. Archer on the bird for six. Mm -hmm. Goblin melee on Gaston for 17. Is that the number? Yeah. You take three. No one dies like Gaston. 
Uh, where is this archer? Way at the back against the bird with disadvantage is no good. Um, this goblin is going to hold his ground. The regal goblin will give his regal goblin war cry, uh, granting all goblins within audible range advantage on their one next attack roll. Don't know why he didn't do it earlier. He kind of forgot that he could do it. Uh, and this guy will shortbow at the eagle with advantage for eight. A, I'm just not even bother spawning him. Uh, oh, the giant eagle goes. I should have spawned him. I should have spawned him. The giant okay. eagle is going. This is, this is the one chance he has to end the regal goblin. I need to roll super high. You need to fail it. Let's see. Um, I will grab grab the regal goblin again, please. Go ahead and make me your athletics check. 23? No. No, no it's not you. <laughs> Never mind. That's uh, you cannot up. grasp him. Yeah, and the uh, eagle will stay there. No, yeah, no issue. Just end it. That could have been bad, guys. That could have been real bad. Uh, goblin will shoot at the eagle for a 21 to hit for five points of damage, killing the eagle. Oh, I think it's over. I think you guys are just gonna die. Okay, Archer against uh, the Albear is a miss. Against the Beast is a miss. Archer will spawn. Take a shot at the Beast. It's a miss. Archer will shoot the Beast. It's a miss. <laughs> Those advantages really suck. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, against the beast, 16 is a hit because advantage and disadvantage cancel uh, for seven points against Beastie. And it is Baldun's turn. Saving throw versus death. Sure, it's coming. Not that it doesn't matter at all. But... Oh, Ooh. wait. Um, Very nice. Yeah, 15 was a constitution saving throw, but no, I rolled oh, a 15. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, an archer behind the regal goblin will also shoot the owlbear looking thing. Or a 14, I think, is a miss. Uh, a goblin that has just spawned is going to move through his friends up to Gaston and scimitar him while he's down, but miss him somehow. Uh, this guy is going to move over towards the Albear Beastie guy and scimitar him for a 16 to hit and 7 points of damage. Gaston, uh, yeah. death saving throw, buddy. Yeah. There you go. Jeezy. No, I no one, no one gets back up like Gaston. Uh, <laughs> I will stand up. I will use the disengage action, and I will, uh, oops, that's not right. Come over here. And, oh wait, no, that's, uh, I, can, I guess standing up takes half of my movement. Yes. Okay. So I'll circle around these goblins and address the regal goblin in goblin. Um, no one fights like Gaston. Prove your worth, you coward. You let all your weaklings do your, your dirty work for you. I dare you to try and strike me. I bet you couldn't even hit me. All right. Uh, goblin archers will go, targeting at first the beast uh, with a 20 to hit and three points to damage. And this one with a, ooh, is that, sh does that cancel disadvantage? No, that is full advantage. He will crit you for 11. Uh, who is he critting? I wasn't looking, sorry. There's a, yeah, one crit you from 11. He's on the second pillar below you on your right side. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down then, if it's on me. Perfect. Uh, another goblin archer will spawn and ready in action. 
<laughs> the owl, give me a death saving throw. Um, it's done, not yet filled. Not so good for you. The this guy will ready in action. This one will ready in action. You can you can say they all ready in action because I'm just gonna wait for the Regal Goblin's response. Uh, yeah, I just need to know who has ready to action so that when you do whatever you do and they do whatever they do, I know what's okay. gonna go down. All right. All right. Uh, in the meantime, this goblin is just going to scimitar the beast. Uh, is not going to hit him. This goblin is going to come over here and scimitar bald uh, and hit her and kill her. And this. Oh, are you? Oh, you just chill. Uh, I'm going to roll the d12 for speed reasons. Six is nice uh, an explosion over here. Those two guys need to make con saves or take 2d10. Uh, one pass and one fail. One dies. I'll just wait it out. <laughs> that will, this is how we'll kill all the goblins. This one spawns and comes near the beast and scimitars. 16, 17 to hit. Yes. Uh, you take damage and two death saving throws and you die. Yes. Okay. So, okay. It's just, it's just Gaston left. Everyone else is perma dead. So we're just gonna skip to the Regal Goblin's turn. Uh, and the Regal Goblin will come 30 feet forward. And all the other goblins just wait. Bald, it's your turn. No, not Bald, I'm sorry. Um, Gaston, it's your turn. Bald is dead. Oh, uh, okay. Um... I will, um, oh god, what do I do? I will, um, start to, um, taunt the real goblin, calling him a cowardice, a uh, piece of trash that's, um, you know, not enough, not tall enough to reach my waist and, and all that, um, and I will, um, kind of walk over this way a bit and say, look, I'll even give you a free shot. Strike me down. And I will uh, ready an action. Uh, <laughs> to grapple the regal goblin if he comes within my reach and then fall backwards. You can ready one of the two. I will Pick ready an one. action to grapple the regal goblin. All right. Uh, it looks like everybody else, all the other goblins are just backing out and giving you guys space to fight. All the archers have readied actions in case you do something bullshitty or try and run past him. Sure. Uh, the regal goblin will take his turn. Um, any interesting... Is he going to throw a stone spear? Uh, he will just close with you. Go ahead and make your grapple attack. Oh my god. Nope. And then he will multi attack you with a one, two, three attacks. Uh, or 22 damage. Well, 11. Uh, and then I guess the other one's an actually 18. So yeah, that's like two hits on you once you're unconscious. Okay. And you all die. Uh, We're going to take a break. Fail. Pass, pass. No, pass, he did two okay. hits on you once you were down, oh, so that's four death saves. So we're gonna go take a break. When we come back, we're gonna have our post mortem. We'll see you guys in a few short minutes. Bye bye. <laughs> 